Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1104 for Thursday, June 3rd, 2010. The Verilux Rise and Shine. And now, get ready for Dick. It's Rock and Roll Thursday. And now, Whoa. another crappy Gizwiz. Hey, Dickie D. Whoa. Wow. You know, if Colleen designed a program that just played that theme, you don't <laughs> need to run five miles an hour. Who would need the well. podcast? I know, yeah. <laughs> Whew, I'm exhausted. Oh, you're talking about Colleen's Alarm Clock Extreme. Yeah, yeah Alarm yeah. Clock, that. If you could just have the radio play that theme. She Whoa, wouldn't. That's you, right. She'd what? be out of bed. Boing. Actually. Yes. What? What? A great idea. What? Yes, you had a great idea? Yes, do, do share. I am. Today's gadget of the day, I'm getting right into it unless you have things to talk Nothing about. Nothing to say. I've uh, wasted yeah. enough of your time. <laughs> uh, something new from Verilux. Now, years ago, I'm not quite sure what Daily Giz was. I did the Verilux. Vacuum. Wake up and go to sleep. Oh, those lights. Natural sound effects. Yes. Alarm clock lamp. Yes, I remember that. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, Verilux has come out with a new Rise and Shine natural alarm clock radio lamp. And what's neat about this is it takes SD cards so that you can wake up to your own music. Mm. So you could transfer the Thursday theme mm. to an SD card mm. and, and literally wake up to the Thursday theme. Now, there's some interesting things. I spoke to a guy at Verilux, and what they, what he said, the S, adding an SD card to the system, and, and it, it comes with a pre-programmed SD card with uh, natural sounds on it. Of course, you can uh, use your own SD card. But he said the problem with digital sound of the ocean and sounds of the birds and everything is that they use a very short sample, digital sample, which is why those things drive me nuts, is if it's like birds It repeats chirping. too much. Yes, it every seven seconds, yeah, you know, like you're going to hear the loud bird, and, yeah. then the, and even the ocean, it's going to be crashing wave every four seconds. And so you stay awake, waiting for the crashing wave, so you know, another four seconds has gone by. So by going to an SD card, they can have very, very long sound samples, so that you don't know when it repeats because it could be two minutes down the line. Um, it also lets you add your own MP2, uh, MP3 tune. It also has uh, a USB dock if you want to add USB music. Uh, it has a real, it's not stereo, but it's real, it's a good looking unit. It has a four watt, really decent sounding speaker with a five watt amplifier which is pretty decent for a little clock radio. Now, the wake up to lights. Uh, have you ever woken, have you ever used a clock that wakes you up? No, you know, and then lately I have, I've liked that kind of ramp up slow waking thing. I have a few, yeah, well, you few can ways set to do this that. As like to how, that. You, how, how fast you want to wake up. But when this clock fills your room with light. You can't help but wake up. Leo, I woke up the people across the street. But see, your body, your body's waiting for the sun to come out. So that's a natural way to wake up. Exactly. Exactly. And you can set, there are 20 brightness levels because at its, at its brightest, Leo, there, there are 100 LEDs. Oh, it is bright. Oh, that's very bright. It, 
It is bright. Now the LED How many or, lumens is that? You know what? I that's a very good question. I should find that out. Let me just give a quick look here cuz I don't see that. But the LED array is kind of hinged so you can face it toward the wall. You can face it just partly toward the bed. You can face it straight up so the light hits the ceiling and then you'll see the light as you lay in bed. Mm. Um, it's it's pretty clever. It's it's good looking. Now it is not inexpensive. Oh, um, it is two hundred and fifty bucks. However, I was on their website earlier, and if you sign up for the newsletter, you automatically get back a twenty percent off uh, discount coupon as long as what you buy is over 100 bucks, So you can knock it down to under $200. And I noticed if you go to Amazon, the lamp is still coming up as the rise and shine alarm clock. So this is fairly new. I believe it came out May 1st. Uh, so we're in early June. So a lot of stores don't have it. So you, if you waited a while, you might get it even cheaper, but already you can get $50 off. Uh, on it at Verilux.com. But it's pretty nifty, and you can also fall asleep if you want it to simulate the sun going down into darkness. You can have sounds playing, and it also reduces either the music or the sound as the clock uh, diminishes in intensity. And the same with waking up. You can have it wake up just too light, you can have sound effects slowly sleep in. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know, you we could. You know, there's an outlet in the back that you can plug in a thing. So you could plug in the rude awakening alarm clock. In the back. <laughs> hey, it's Now they, it's funny because they call it sleep wake therapy. So it's like you sleep and you wake. You get therapy for both. Yes, yes. And hopefully in between there'll be seven or eight hours of the sleep. <laughs> sleep, wake, sleep, wake, sleep, wake. Yes, that's right. Oh, 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 this is very good. I'm falling. Oh, I'm finally asleep. Wake, wake up. up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You're time for your therapy. Some hours in, be in between. I've had the clock three days. I've slept four minutes. But I, I think I might want this. You know, I, I need something like this. I need something relaxing, restful, and Something that encourages me to sleep because I've been drinking so much coffee. I haven't been able to sleep lately. So oh, you're, this, this there you be, go. This might be a good there. choice. The Rise and Shine. Looks like a printer. Uh, you know, it's very funny. That's the light array on oh, the top. That's the light, I can, see. I which see. you can lay totally down. So and, and because it. Verilux does the, like the daylight stuff for SADS, for seasonal affect disorder yes, syndrome, exactly. this would be good. That's why they call it therapy because it would also give you daylight. In your eyes. And yes, your it mixes uh, blue LEDs with white LEDs. Uh, and uh, and you, you can use the brightness control to see what each effect does so that you can sort of see what sort of thing your body reacts to best. I kind of like this. It's a little pricey at 250 but uh, yeah. But as I said, instantly, just by getting the newsletter, you can get 20% off. So That's a good deal. That's uh, an instant 50 you know, That's so smart of them to do that. I mean, that's a lot of money for them. But I guess yes. if they, they, they value you being on their uh, mailing list. Yeah. And also, you know what? They probably figure after it's in wide demand, you'll find it on Amazon for $50 less. Right. So, so why this, don't we just keep you on our website? Right. And, yeah, exactly. Right. And so you enter the coupon code on shipping and payment selection. And the coupon code... Do they tell you or do you know? Yes. Yeah. After you sign up for the newsletter, you get the coupon code. They, uh, they email it to you. So do do that. Do do. Do do, do, do that. that. Verilux is V-E-R-I-L-U-X. Yes. Verilux.com. You know, I really want this, Dick. I'm, my hand is hovering over the, over the buy button. Well, if you can wait till September, I'll bring it out. Okay. Wow. There you go. I'll just go to sleep now and maybe you'll be here <laughs> when I wake up.
Thank you. And Thank our you. letter is from Brian Houston, who happens to be from Bettendorf, IA, Louisiana. IA is Louisiana, right? Uh, IA is, uh, LA is Louisiana. IA is Iowa. Iowa. And I oh, believe okay. Bettendorf is, in fact, in Iowa. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. then, uh, Brian, if you're in Iowa, why is your name Houston? I think one of us. <laughs> <laughs> One of us is very confused. Um, uh, dear guys, I'm a new but dedicated listener. I love Mad Magazine as a kid. I still do. Uh, I loved this card can only be played on Thursdays, which was a card in the Mad Magazine board game. I do remember that. Uh, okay, enough about Mad. I have a product I would like you or Leo to review. It's by a company called Microvision, and it's called the Show WX Pico Projector. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it, too, yeah. and it's very decent. But, Leah, the reason I'm reading this letter is he wants to do something with it that you would probably know if he can do it. I'm thinking of buying this gadget plus the 3G iPad yes. plus yes. a sling box. yes. So that I can watch my DVR and project it on any surface I want. What do you guys think? So he would want to do video. You know what? I'm not sure what he wants to do here. <laughs> I'm very confused. So you, well, you first could, of all, if you, you, can't got, get, you can't get video on the iPod, right? If you, okay, yes. Okay, here's the deal. He it, wants to hook a sling box to an iPod? I don't, okay, I get what he's saying. Okay, first of all, iPad does not yet have iPad. the Slingbox oh, sorry, sorry. software, but it will at some point. Oh, okay. Here's the deal on that. You can buy a VGA connector for the iPad that plugs into the iPad, connector, dock connector port, and has video out. It comes out as VGA, okay? Part one. Part two, not all applications send video out through there. In fact, there's only a couple right now. One is Apple's own Keynote, so if you're doing a... You know, that's the PowerPoint on the, on the iPad. So if you're doing a presentation, you can do it with that connector and hook it up to a projector, including this, uh, this, this Pico projector, as long as it has VGA in. That's step one. Now, there is another application, just came out, an update to the Netflix application that allows you to play Netflix movies through that connector. So you can do that. Unknown whether the Slingbox iPad application will do that. Now, the minute it comes out, I'll tell you. But it's it's something, now that Netflix has done it, I, I think it's become clear that that's just something that the program can do, but it has to do it. The operating system doesn't do it, and most programs don't. But a program can apparently say, oh, if there's a dock connector, play video out through that. Um. So you could. So he could, so he's, what I, I'm imagining he's saying is I'm going to hook my Slingbox up to my TV. I want to do this. I can't wait to do this when the iPad app comes out. I've got the Slingbox. I've got it hooked up. And then I'll put the iPad app on here. Usually they're, you know, $30 or $40 for the app. They have it for uh, right now for uh, an iPhone. They've got an Android one coming out soon. And I hear the iPad's imminent as well. And so you buy that application. It's a little pricey, but then you can watch your TV on your iPad anywhere you are, right? As long as you can get online. Next step is... Yes. Will it work on 3G? It does on the iPhone now, so I presume the iPad Oh, it will. does. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's they updated it. Concern. Oh, they oh, updated okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So that's step one. AT&T finally let Sling put the... Play Slingback's video back over 3G. And then the... the and, and now that's nice because, by the way, you have unlimited 3G bandwidth on this thing. So it doesn't matter how much data nice. you use. And then Sling has to write their iPad app to write out the video out to that connector and we don't know yet until that comes out we won't know that but i'll let you know as soon as it does in All fact right. that will almost undoubtedly be a gadget pick if because uh, that's exactly i don't care about so much about coming out the connector but i cannot wait to watch my sling box on my ipad that's going to be a yeah killer. yeah you know? oh, okay good and the yeah. good news is netflix the netflix app now does do that so that's that means we're close as for the pico yeah. the pico projector i don't know what the connector is to that um is it is it VGA? I don't know. If it's it looks like it connects directly up to the docking port of an iPhone, that's yeah, I don't know if that's going to work with an iPad. That's a good question. I don't know. We don't know. But so the answer is we, long answer, short answer. Long answer you just heard. Short answer is huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we like your comments about the show being good. 
And we like that part. That part we'll take. Yeah. Okay. Dick, by the way, someone in the chat room is saying, oh, you can buy that uh, alarm clock for $150, but you, that, that's the old alarm clock that you guys are looking at. We're talking at. about the Rise and Shine. The, the Rise and Shine looks like a, a, a radio. You're, fly, you're finding the lamp, which is uh, not what the new one is. Okay. The new one. Get uh, that straight. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The new one looks like that. Da -da, da -da, I think that would be really good. I think I would like that. Okay. okay. I'll bring it with me. All right, my friends, everyone, uh, thank you for being here. Tomorrow, you go to the warehouse, Dick, and come back with some dusty old piece of crap. I've got to be here. D A I L Y. It's the day. It's own gravy. Yeah.